What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the next gear. In this video, we're gonna be going over the differences between the V8 Camaro and the V6 Camaro. We're gonna go over power, affordability, and the fuel mileage. So let's get straight into it. So first thing we're gonna go into is power. So if you choose to get the V8 model of the Camaros, uh, you're gonna have two different power options. So the first one, if you get a manual, you're gonna come with a little bit more power than the automatic. The manual comes with the LS3, it comes with 422 horsepower and 408 foot-pounds of torque. So you get plenty of power to just, you know, bang through them gears and everything. So if you were to choose to go with the automatic route, you're gonna get a little bit less horsepower, but it's still a good amount of horsepower. So you get the L99 motor, it comes with 400 horsepower and 410 foot-pounds of torque. So you're still right there with the manual transmission. So if you're racing a manual, they're both stock, I mean, you don't have to shift. So really, y'all could be a really even race. So no matter what you choose, you're still getting a really good engine for the price you're paying for the car. So if you choose to go to V6 route, you're still getting an incredible 323 horsepower and 278 foot-pounds of torque. So you're still getting a lot of bang for your buck with this engine. Uh, you get it in the automatic and the manual transmission. It's both the same number. So no matter what you choose, you're still getting that great power. So if you were to get an older Camaro with a V8, let's say like a fourth gen Camaro, you're actually getting more power with this V6 than that V8 in the past. So you're really getting a really good deal with these newer Camaros for a V6 platform. So that is a really good option right here. So when we're talking about affordability, uh, these cars, you can find them actually fairly cheap. So if you're getting into your first muscle car, Go ahead and get you an SS. Uh, you can find some for 15 grand. I've seen some as low as 10 grand. It depends on what you get. Uh, this one I actually paid over 20, but that's because it comes with a lot of modifications that he had put on the car. So if you want to get the V8 model, you can hear this thing is just absolutely draining my tank right now. It's just, the fuel mileage is awful. No, but seriously, if you're looking into fuel mileage for the SS, you actually get 16 miles to the gallon in the city and 25 miles to gallon in the highway. So you're actually getting really good gas mileage for what you're getting with a V8. Uh, you could daily it, it'd be perfect. As you can see, mine is canned from earlier. So if you're getting a cam or anything, just expect for the fuel miles to drop. I'm at nine and a half miles per gallon. All right, and if you're choosing to go to V6 platform, you actually get 18 miles per gallon in the city, which is really good. And you get also 29 highway MPG, I wish. That 29, that, that's that's saving you a lot of gas. So the V6 definitely outperforms the V8 in terms of fuel mileage. So guys, as you can see, both these Camaros are very good candidates. Whether you get the V6 or the V8, you're still getting a really good bang for your buck. And whatever fits your route that you want to plan to take in your life, go ahead and pick you up one of these. 